For the longest time, bro, rappers were not supposed to feel shit. Rappers weren't supposed to feel anything except feeling like the shit. That was it. Be the best, fuck everybody's bitch, have the most money, be the hardest nigga, period. And it's like, bro, for one, that's not me. I don't have the most money. I can't fuck everybody's bitch. It's impossible. I'm already cut out the first two options right there. And then at the end of the day, too, it's like, dog, I'm actually dealing with some really rough shit right now. I think maybe we should be a little more sensitive to people having feelings and having problems. Being an emotional person in hip-hop was not, like, the wave for a second. And literally the happy shit, too, bro. It's like, why can't I be happy? I was like, what's so fucking whitewashed about being happy? I'm I'm sorry, are we as fucking black men not supposed to be happy? Is there a law against us being happy and fucking kind and non-hostile? Like, yeah, nigga, I'm docile, so what? The more as like a society as we like make fun of people or like bully people online for going through shit, the less people are gonna talk about it, the more people are gonna end up killing themselves, more people are gonna end up taking drugs and fucking overdosing on drugs, more people are gonna end up harming others. Like it just breeds so much fucked up shit. All the men in my life that I that have fucked up problems, I know it's because they don't express themselves. And it's because they were never taught to express themselves by any other man. But when you're not good at like expressing what you have inside of you, you're just gonna bottle it up. People expect men to only be a certain way. And it's really like the imagery and shit we're showing as kids too. Like our examples of men are only like badass buff dude kicking ass and taking names. Like nigga, that does not solve all problems. Sometimes there's emotional trauma that needs to be talked about. Why are we not seeing therapists? Why is that like such a taboo like in our community, men in hip hop? Like why are we not rapping about that? If we really wanna help our community and help the people that look like us, and we'll give them better tools. I'm so ready for us to like stop hiding. You feel me? I'm so ready for us to stop like trying to pretend like we're okay. I'm so ready for dudes to be able to cry. <laughs> Like that should be all good. I'm like a rapper and I would talk about being happy. It's a cool thing now, but literally if we rewind back to 2013, when I was talking about all this happy rapper shit, like all people ever called me was gay, fucking lame. Apparently being happy was a white thing and I was too white for that. It's so ass backwards. It's like, bro, like, first of all, it's like time out niggas. Okay, I'm currently coping with something and this is my defense mechanism. So fuck y'all anyways, I'ma keep doing this. But at the end of the day too, it's like, don't tell me that I should be fucking negative. Don't tell me that me being emotional is fucking negative. Because the more you try to shut me out from expressing myself, like you're only making my situation harder and you're only making the situation harder for all of us. I randomly knew it was okay to be like that because I loved fucking Kid and Play. I loved Queen Latifah. I loved the Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff. Big Daddy Kane, like that whole era. I'm like, wait, 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 hold on. Everything wasn't hard as fuck the whole time. And they're like, nah, actually back in the day, niggas was wearing bright colors and doing dance moves. And like, everything was all about this, ah, it's good ass like type of energy and movement. And it's funny because people would look at my shit like it wasn't hip hop enough. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, this is how hip hop started. And it started with this energy. It started with this positive, like I can be anything ass energy. And it's crazy. People tried to claim my shit as like not hip hop enough. And I'm like, nigga, you have no clue how hip hop I actually am. If you want to compare it to like some actual like, hip hop pioneers, I think I'm carrying the torch the right way. Or if you want me to just like start doing hella drugs and just like be a super shitty like role model for like my community and like youth like me, like I could do that too. But I think that would be kind of counterproductive to the whole hip hop movement that we made in the first place. What's wrong Kyle? Man, these kids man, talking shit, making me feel bad. Man, fuck them kids bro. L look around bro, look at life. I always just felt like I was walking around with like a heavy ass like backpack on or something. You feel me? I always felt like I was walking around with like a heavy ass like weight on my shoulder. And I remember my first like real taste of like actual depression was like when I was in high school, my grandfather passed away. It was like the first time I dealt with like one of my like close family members dying. And I lived with my grandpa so much. My grandpa was like equally like my dad. I just like felt so alone. I felt hella empty for the first time. And it taught me how to react to depression. I had to leave my house because everybody in my house was also depressed and we couldn't pick each other up because we were all broken. And so I was going to school and faking myself into like this stage of happiness. It was really weird. Like I would look in the mirror and tell myself shit like, you're amazing, like you're awesome, I love you. Like just a bunch of weird shit like that. And then I would like go to school and like walk around and like tell it to other people and shit. I would just go around school high-fiving people because like I felt so bad, but making other people felt good like made me feel good and it started to like heal that little wound I had in me. And so that created this whole alter ego of myself that was super duper Kyle. 
that went around like brightening people's days. <laughs> that was my first experience with depression, which I'm so happy and thankful for because it taught me all depression is curable. I figured out this thing. I was like, bro, I just need to love people and just be hella nice to people and be hella happy and like remind people why they should be happy. That's why on ups and downs, I have a line I say, 2016 hit me like a bag of bricks. 2017 switched up like, ooh, it's lit. I nearly had a mental breakdown and eight months later had a hit. I guess life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Cause it was like, I had all that shit stressing me out and literally thought the world was over and then stayed in the game a little longer and fucking caught a hit out of nowhere. And that's the thing about optimism is you never know what tomorrow's gonna be like. Whether it's your career, whether it's your family, whether it's sickness, like that shit could all be better next week, next month, next year. You don't know how long it's gonna take, but you have to stay in the game. Happiness is not something that you just get to be. It's some shit you gotta fight for. I let my guard down and I forgot how to fight for being happy. I forgot how to wake up every day feeling shitty and be like, nah, I'm gonna go get this smile. I'm gonna go get that shit because I deserve it. Man, that's sick. I smile because other niggas can't. I smile because maybe I can show them that they can, you know? I smile because, because I'm not fucking dead. I smile because I could have been a janitor instead. Smile because I'm me. I smile because I'm free. I smile because every day I get to breathe. I smile because I make a snaggletooth kid believe he can smile every time I show my teeth. So why not smile?